laser yellow one. Something a little bit different today. Now I know I'm used to building axes and swords and hammers and things like that, but well, I've been told I've got to build a bookshelf by the wife. And I don't want to get in trouble, so I'm going to do as I'm told. So we're going to build some furniture today. We'll see how it goes. I'm not used to building furniture. Big stack of plywood, bookcase. Let's go. Okay, so legs are done. They are cut to nine to 10 mil depth and they are cut 18 mil wide. I say 18 mil wide. They're not all 18 mil wide, but shh, no one needs to know. That's just between me and you. So next is to give it sand, because I don't want to sand them separately. I'm going to sand them, uh, just a light, light sanding. Uh, and then I'm going to split them into 50 mil sections. A smidge of an issue. Just a smidge. Now obviously I'm not using this lovely Baltic birch plywood with lots of many layers and things like that. The plywood I'm using is crappy construction grade softwood ply. So because of that I've got a little split. Now, I'm hoping I can just stick some glue in there and you know, that'll be it. And I hope this isn't strong enough because annoyingly, that is the leg. But I am going to have obviously plywood in there securing it and holding it nice and tight. So hopefully. It'll be fine. I just have to make this with me. Back away. Okay, so I have everything all pre-fitted, dry fitted, pre-screwed and everything. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take it apart, re-glue it, put it back together and then start doing some face trimming. So you don't really care about the whole gluing, taking apart and gluing back together. So back in a minute, we'll have some, some face trimming. All right, ready? And go. Okay, done. So I'm now trying to decide what the front is going to be. So all of the joints aren't even. Of course they're not. I don't build furniture, but I think 
this front is the best. So I'm going to do this is the front, give it a quick once over with the sander now, and then I can glue and pin nail bits of a roco on the side. I still don't know what I'm going to do for the mirror. I do have some Morocco I could mill up. It could work. So next, I've got to find something to put in the middle. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven middle pieces. Oh, well, that'll do. I'm going to cut a bit of that up. If you find yourself alone, do not be troubled. You are in the Lyceum. Do you dare to fall? To fall. Dare to fall. Lyceum descend upon her palace. So I've just let this Rubio sit and I'm going to be honest with you, the wife's not going to be happy. The chest of drawers that we've got in the bedroom are like a solid grey sort of cut. This just hasn't worked. But I have a feeling she's going to want to paint this now. Now if that's what she wants to do, that's fine. I have no real issue with that. The only problem is, she's going to want me to paint it. And I'm going to try and avoid that because I do not like painting at all. Hate it. Hate painting. That's why I like the colour of wood. So, thanks for watching me build what is my second bit of furniture ever. First was a chair, second was this. Did it go to plan? No. Was it a good effort? Hell yeah, it was a good effort. But they no joints. I've got face frame. What more could I want? This can only start me doing furniture even better from now on. So, thanks for watching this one. Uh, this is going to get installed now. So I will see you all whatever I'm doing next. But if you want more videos, there's some more here. I think there's probably also some more here. And there's probably a subscribe button about here somewhere. So, if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Go subscribe. Bye. See you later. Enjoy looking at the end of it.